you like my daddy's videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy TM87 here, back with another video. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about the best drop spots for Arena and Cash Cups. Even though they haven't announced any events officially yet and the Compete tab has not been updated, people have been grinding Arena like crazy. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what I believe some, to be some of the best drop spots for the meta today. If you enjoyed the video and find any of this information helpful, consider leaving a like and maybe even subscribing to the channel with post notifications. You can also follow all of my socials that are linked down below. I post daily on all of my social medias so you can find more content on there and let's jump right into the video. For the first drop spot, we're going to be landing at Dirty Docks and specifically this back building, this warehouse here in the back. I believe that Dirty Docks is honestly one of the best drop spots in this in this season. It has a Stark dropship location which spawns right there okay so for this location what you want to do is generally land on the top you have one chest spawn here you have a floor spawn right there and one floor spawn right here there's also a floor spawn right here here over there then you have one chest spawn right here but it didn't spawn because epic likes to change things up too much you have one ammo box on top of this two that spawn right here but we only got one then what i do is i come outside get this chest right here there's another chest that spawns right over there then I rotate back inside, hit these pallets, grab me some metal too, since metal is so hard to find now. Then there's two more that spawn right here. There's a chest right here. Another ammo crate, another ammo crate. And then there's a chest spawn inside of this semi truck that didn't spawn there this time. An ammo crate right here, a chest spawn right here. Then we're going to farm these pallets and you will always leave this drop spot with max wood now i didn't happen to get any shield but what's great about this drop spot is that really doesn't matter too much this shield or this drop spot has every mat that you'll need you can farm metal from these and get quite a bit of metal but depending on where the zone goes you can actually get it from another spot right here and since we have a zone that goes up this direction we're going to rotate up and around this way, which leads us to this spot right here that has metal. So what you'll do from here is you'll drop down, get this other ammo crate right here. I found minis right here, but I'm not going to use them. And you're going to come around this way. We're going to hit the metal that's right here. Now for anyone who's been living under a rock, People have found out that boats right now, if you shoot the fishing holes, actually give you three guaranteed items. You can get fish, you can get weapons, it doesn't matter. They're, it's always guaranteed gonna be three items. And this area over here is full of fishing locations. So we got one right here, and you got one right here. Look at that. You have another one right here. I'm gonna pop this shield fish. Carry the flopper. So if you notice, I have all of these free shield right here. It's gonna be super easy to just get max shield. And then competitively, you, if you play in the cash cups, you can be a flopper player. You get plenty of floppers over here. Uh, there's generally more fishing spots and it allows for you to rotate. From here, you can finish off your drop spot by coming over here to get some brick. Grab this one ammo crate right here. Rotate over here to get the last of this brick right here and then finish off by rotating into zone as you can see my loadout is pretty stacked for just using a boat and landing at one building for our second drop spot we're going to be headed over here to caddy corner caddy corner used to be the best drop in the game last season but with the vaulting of kits loot it's not really as good as it was but what does actually make this drop so good is the fact that because it's not as contested or since it's not as good as it was last season it's not as contested this has the same chest chest bonds as it did last season but nothing there has changed there's one in this rv but this door is always closed now so you can just break that there's this chest spawn right here more pallets for wood this chest spawn still spawns here there's actually a chest spawn that spawns here now that uh replaced the main pinchman crate i'm gonna come up here to get this metal the vault doesn't actually have any of the henchman chests but from what i've seen it always has this chest in here i could be wrong you want to come up here grab some more of this wood 
also don't forget to break this to get the loot that's on top of it it still has all these consumables which sometimes will give you peppers for rotation and then come over here and break this don't forget to grab boogie bombs early game there doesn't i think the limit on them is 10. so as you can see for rotation i have six peppers make that eight peppers next you can come over here farm this brick farm this metal and then there's this ice chest that spawns here you choose to grab the flopper if you want to both of these chests still spawn here and i believe this chest right here spawns here sometimes too next what you want to do is you actually want to head down over here you can grab this last chest spawn right here grab the rest of this in case you get more peppers and afterwards you want to head down here you can finish off your loot path by coming down here to get the rest of these mats right here if you don't happen to get max wood up there there's a chest that still spawns here and then you can rotate this actually still gives you the opportunity to come over here and fish these locations right here and remember don't use the fishing poles just use the boat afterwards you can come over here and fish these fishing spots over near near this island afterwards you can come over here and farm this house you can get some more metal from these structures right here there is still this chest spawn that spawns right here but it didn't spawn this game and then from here you can finish off by rotating the zone you can either choose to take the boat come all the way around or you can just white line it through here there is also a stark jet that spawns over here and you can still make it to sentinels as well now we are on drop spot number three so for this drop spot you actually want to land right here on this bridge i believe there's only one chest spawn here but that's not actually why we're going to be landing here so you're going to want to aim for the top to grab these two four loot spawns that spawn up here and you want to come over here grab that four loot spawn there is a chest that spawns here more floor loot and then lastly this full loot right here now the reason that we're going to land here is we're actually going to be taking this boat right here and dropping down low from here you want to hit the fishing spots that are down here there's also a chest that spawns here you can farm this brick that's found here this place is full of brick the chest spawn that spawns right here and then you can make your way to the chest that spawns right up here from here you want to get back into your boat and make your way down towards old agency and you want to hit more of these fishing spots this area of the map has always been known to have quite a bit of fishing spots so you just want to kind of make your way around the lake trying to find as many of them as you can You can then finish off your loot path by coming over here if the Stark Jet is here and then finding off these loot robots. Make sure to open this and then when you're farming this, you want to make sure that you break the wings first. This will help you maximize your metal. And then from there you can head to zone you can see that i this path doesn't really give you that many mats but you can always farm those mats on the way especially since your your position on the map you shouldn't get pushed by too many people for this drop you're going to be aiming for this hill right here by misty meadows once here you want to aim for this pink tent right here pinkish brown whatever you want to open up this henchman chest from the way that i understand it it does spawn every game it's not a part of the uh 50 to 70 percent drop rate or spawn rate then you want to come over here to this cabin where a chest spawns up there but it doesn't look like it spawned this game and make sure that you farm some mats depending on how contested this misty is you can rotate in here where there is two or three floor loot spawns on the way in but for the purpose of the video we're going to come over here to this little camping area right here and we'll make sure you farm as many mats as you can on the way there's a chest that spawns inside of here remember grab boogie, boogie bombs early game you want to continue farming and you want to rotate down over here you want to finish farming over here and you run, want to rotate down towards this cabin same as which if you were to land over at caddy it's possible that the caddy person can rotate down here to contest you but i'm not actually unsure how many people will actually take that same loot path it's just the path that i take then from here you want to do the same thing that we did earlier over on caddy and you're going to want to fish these spawns with the boat 
Be careful because the shark can grief your loot. One tip for finding fishing spots that are far away, just kind of look around and see if you can see any of the fish jumping up like that. Again, like I said, you can try to grief your loot, so you want to make sure that you're rather quick with it. Don't forget to come over here to this island, farm some more mats, open this chest, arm the rest of this metal. And then from here, you can rotate outward. Same as last time, you can either take the boat or you can just white line into zone. And those are four of the best drop spots for chapter two, season four. If you enjoyed the video or found any of this information helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with post notifications. If you'd like to support me further, you can use code TM87 in the item shop and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.